Camera Pro Peanut Butter Production here on Twin Cities Live. We think mm -hmm. we've proven that. Um, are you a crunchy, smooth guy? Which one would you choose if you had to choose? Um, well, I know I'm going to catch a little heck for this, but I think uh, the more nuts, the better. Okay, wow. How about you? Um, I like, I think there's a time and a place for both. I like equal representation in my fridge. Mm. So okay. Jackie Tessing from Sweet Girl Treats MN is on Instagram, and she is here with delicious peanut butter treats. She's celebrating with us. Yes. Were you surprised by our peanut butter taste test results? A little bit. Okay. I need to try that white chocolate one. Yeah. But I am so on board with Jif, as you can see, I yeah. bought it. Well, yeah, you were saying that. Too. I did not realize. I feel like I'm so in the so dark good. after 45 years of eating uh -huh. peanut butter. I didn't know there was such a big difference between Skippy and Jif. It's fun it to is. do a side-by-side -side taste yeah. test. Okay, so how are you best using peanut butter? You are pairing okay. it with its best friend, chocolate, which we like very much. Yes. What mm -hmm. are we going to start with? Peanut butter and chocolate. So these brownies are so over the top but in the best way. Ah. So we, not only did I do a brownie, but then we put a layer of peanut butter, just full on peanut butter in the brownie. Okay. And then I covered it with more peanut butter dessert, puppy chow, or oh muddy buddies, whatever you oh, want to Oh, so it. that's the topping? That's the top okay. of it. I mean, so, all of those things individually are amazing. So and then you make a brownie sandwich with yep. peanut butter topped with puppy chow. That's yeah. amazing. How did yeah. you do this? Okay, so let me walk you through it. Um, I just start with an easy homemade brownie, yeah. which is just, you know, cocoa powder, melted chocolate, butter, eggs, mix it together. Okay. And you're going to, this is just going to go in an eight by eight pan. I always will line my pans with parchment paper. Yeah. It's the easiest, so then you can just pop them out. I always, you can either do water or spray it with cooking spray too, and then they'll stick down stick really down. nicely oh. too. Trim the edges so that they fold in. And then we're going to put half of the brownie batter down in the pan. Okay. okay. And that's what you've done here. Yeah, you've and that's what we've done. done. So I already did it because the key with peanut butter and getting this like nice filling for peanut butter is you're going to freeze it. I was going to say, how do you get it so layer. perfect? Yes. So you're going to take a cup of peanut butter and melt it so it's really malleable and pour it into its own um, its own egg bite like this and freeze it. Oh. And then you're going to oh, get gotcha. this perfect little layer. And I didn't do it on live TV because it does unfreeze really fast. Yeah. Okay. You kind of got to move fast. Gotcha. So that's a whole separate process. It You're is. doing that sort of on the side in the shape of the same pan. Yep. And then you just take that out of the freezer and then just place that on and top place of the... It, yep. And, you, and then we'll, again, we'll have parchment paper down so you can kind of just flip it over, peel it back. And then we have this really pretty... That's, that's our, so that's satisfying. Yes. Fine. It is. Yes. And yes. so smart, too. Oh, yes. wow. And that's how you get the filling. And then we're just going to add the second half of the brownie batter. Okay. To have it fill. That's how you get that perfect little ribbon of peanut butter in the middle. Oh, and man. And it's a nice, thick, you know, <laughs> thick so layer, good. too. I mean, this is great. I am all for putting as much peanut butter as possible. Oh, I things. totally agree. Yes. Okay. So then these brownies are going to bake um, at 350 for about 30 to 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, bake a little longer than you think because it's um, with that peanut butter layer, it's going to take a little bit longer okay but about 40 minutes you can always test with a toothpick around the sides you're gonna see the peanut butter when you take it out but you can still tell and then your house smells amazing yep. and your house smells amazing mm -hmm. okay so then to add the puppy chow if you guys want to help me with this I, I use a chocolate ganache mm -hmm. <laughs> which is just heavy cream and chocolate chips mixed together melted down oh, that's super easy in yes the world. and that's gonna be our glue <gasps> for the puppy chow so, okay. okay, so you're going to you spread. Have it like this? Yep, and you don't need to use all of that. This is a little more than the recipe yes, calls for, you but do. you just you go ahead and use as much chocolate as you want. Okay, but so go ahead spread and just it on. Spread it around. Okay, yep. like And a... that's going to be our glue. Oh, boy. And then I've got the yeah. puppy chow, in which, we, if you are on puppy chow duty, is your obligation to eat the puppy chow while yes. you watch Snack this being spread out. This is kind of fun, though, because you're giving us options. Like, you could probably just serve the brownies just plain without yep. the ganache and the puppy chow, but if you really yep. want to take it over the top, Absolutely. then you yes. go that direction. Does that look okay? That looks great. Probably not for Ben. He wanted more, but I think and we then, can do it. Yep, and do and like then, as thin of a layer as possible. I mean, the puppy chow will fall off if it's not touching the ganache. Oh, right. yeah, you want it yeah. to be So you want it to there. be kind of glued on. And the key with this is the puppy chow, like the checks and the ganache, will meet together and it'll get a little soggy after two or three days. Oh. So if you're going to make oh. it ahead of time, just put the puppy chow on before you're ready. It'll never it. last two or three days there, Jackie. Right. I would never I would last. So. Let's just do it. Okay, like, here we go. This is one of those days where my sugar intake is just going to, like if I was wearing one of those little CGMs, it'd be like, you're in the higher alert <laughs> zone. Tone it down, lady. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. The crunch, the peanut butter. It is everything brownie. that you think it would be. Wow. And more. Okay. That is awesome. Okay. Yeah. Yum. What else do you have for us? I see a okay. delicious cheesecake. Yes. Let's pair peanut butter and cheesecake then. Those are like my two favorite things. I have a disproportionate amount of recipes with peanut butter and cheesecake <laughs> in them. So this is called my ultimate peanut butter cheesecake. 
It has a peanut butter cookie crust, Whoa. peanut butter cheesecake base, and it's filled with full Reese's cups. What did middle. you use, like nutter butters for that crust, or what did you, you do? It's just actually like a, it's flour, peanut butter, butter mixed together to oh, make like almost like a little oh, peanut butter Oh, look at you, you little sexy easy. thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just, I'm taking, a, I'm taking just a, a regular bite, not a TV bite of this yeah, one. Yeah, Ben's on date night with this cheesecake. Mm -hmm. It's a real emotional connection. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. And we have this one topped with the ganache again, like we just made, and I, and then you can decorate it as you know, with Reese's. What's great about that is that it's surprisingly not excessively sweet. No. Yeah, like this is health. very rich and very yes. sweet. Mm -hmm. And there's like a great time and a place for that. Super yep. fun. But that little bit of like the tart of the cream cheese. Yes, yeah, the exactly. tangy cream cheese. Is yeah. the balance. The and tang. I, yeah. That's, that's wonderful. Yeah, the tang, the tang with the sweet is wonderful. Okay, yes. la last but not least, you have these uh, peanut butter filled cookies. Yes, if your tummies are ready, we have chocolate filled peanut butter Chocolate, sorry, chocolate peanut butter filled cookies. Oh boy. So this is just a cakey chocolate cookie and there's just a filling of straight peanut butter in them. Man, thank okay. you. I'll give you your own. There and you go. I think like you're going to see similar to what we did with the peanut butter filling here where <gasps> we freeze little dollops of peanut butter to in... put them around the cookie. Yeah, okay. that's how you get that filling. Yeah. Jackie, these are excellent. I'm so excellent, glad you excellent. like them. I'm happy that you saw it. Was there a little cinnamon in there? There is in the chocolate. Mm, yes. I love it. Yes. Yeah. All right. We posted these all these recipes that we tried today on TwinCitiesLive.com. And be sure to follow Jackie on Instagram at SweetGirlTreatsMN. What are you doing? Are you deciding I'm, which one? I'm, I'm grabbing. I need to grab the, uh, the cheese. That calls. He's, is, he's staking claim yep. on it. And no one from the crew can take it in the break. <laughs> Nobody touched this one, okay? <laughs>